Two of the epidemics still causing problems in terms of diagnosis and treatment on the African continent are HIV AIDS and malaria. We're approaching 25 years of contending with the epidemic and a lot of work goes into researching new ways of diagnosing, treating and better managing the epidemic. According to the latest statistics released by the Human Sciences Research Council's National HIV Prevalence, Incidence and Behaviour Survey, South Africa's HIV positive population actually increased to around 12.2% today from 10.6% in 2008. That means that more than 6.4 million South Africans are living with HIV. Malaria is a disease caused by a parasite that is transferred from mosquitoes to humans. According to the latest statistics from the World Health Organization, more than 2,200 cases are reported in South Africa every year, resulting in death for one in every 100 infected. Malaria morbidity is much more prevalent in other parts of Sub-Saharan Africa and can be treated effectively if caught early, making malaria deaths unnecessary in the face of accurate diagnostics and treatment. But with millions dying from HIV, AIDS and malaria every year, the focus on diagnostics cannot be overemphasized. Malaria Rapid Diagnostic Tests, or RTDs, are what's currently being used to help diagnose malaria by detecting evidence of the parasite in human blood. These tests have potential to improve the quality of management of malaria infections in areas where the main form of diagnosing, which is through high-quality microscopy, is not available. The benefits of RTDs are that they are inexpensive and can be used in field conditions, but they do pose some shortcomings. So the traditional shortcomings of, um, of, of normal diagnostics is the, is the time that it takes to get you the results. Very often the, the, the blood test or the sample needs to go off to a laboratory to be tested and, get, and then get sent back. What that then does is it causes the patient to get lost in the system and very often they don't come back and get their results. Um, and the other problem is that with um, all the rapid diagnostics is obviously the performance in the field and we know that um, there's increasing numbers of uh, misdiagnoses taking place where patients are tested HIV positive when in actual fact they're negative or, or worse when they test HIV negative and they're actually HIV positive. The MDEA or the Medical Design Excellence Awards are a medtech industry design competition where the best medical devices, products, systems and packaging available in the medical field are awarded. Atomo Diagnostics was awarded Best in Show at the 17th MDEA held in June and are using this RTD technology to great effect in the African context. We took all the information and the learnings from the difficulties of how difficult it is to operate in field and we took that and we then provided a technological solution to many of the blockages that you now find at clinics. Many RTDs offer a strong clinical performance, but it is when they're used outside of laboratory conditions that problems such as procedural errors and incorrect diagnosis occur. Atomo Rapid HIV and malaria can be used outside these clinical laboratory conditions. The tests are safe, simple to use and accurate. The rapid diagnostic advantages um, are such that you get a quick result you keep the patient in the loop, so you don't lose that patient, you don't have to go back to them with the results. Um, the diagnostics are uh, much cheaper to use um, and it's much more efficient and it prevents those long queues from developing in healthcare facilities. More importantly, they hope the impact of this type of testing will change the way the testing is done worldwide.